$5,000? Piss off! I mean, I don't have so many great things to say. I didn't have a kid. Nah, you got nothing to say. You just have to just nod your head. Hey, what's going on, people? We're making a live video today. Broadcasting live from uh, my house. Uh, like I said, that's my buddy over there. Uh, we won't even give him his name. Just want to show you that we we actually are doing some of the things that we talk about in these videos. Uh, we were here today. We did four solid trades. It was one of those days. Uh, I don't want to throw my man under the bus, but the one trade he wound up losing money on, I begged him to sell. He didn't want to sell it. As we look at his face. Liquidators. Yep. He didn't want to get out of the LL. That's not a type of stock that I trade, uh, but... You know, a lot of different trades that we looked at today. Um, first of all, MVIS kids. So anybody that signed up for one of my courses has already been paid back. MVIS, we got in this thing at uh, 205, 215, 225, 230, 245, 250. We sold some at 277 just to sacrifice to the gods. And look what happened today. The stock gap is up 25%. If you don't believe in that kind of stuff, again, I've been doing this 20 years. I believe in every superstition. I believe nothing is out of the realm of possibility. Stocks can still go to zero. Look at WLT. Miracle still can happen. Look at Ameren. And more importantly, MVIS. It's about who you trust and who you know. And then more importantly, anybody can give you a stock tip and you know it works out. But more importantly, MVIS was trading like a real stock. It was gapping up. You got those sellers in the morning and then had a strong close. Uh, there was a day where it gapped down. Looked like it was over for the stock and it rallied into the close. Really significant. I'm not a big fan of trading in the uh, later in the day, but I watch the market just to see how your stock acts. And if you see a stock that's rallying into the close, generally that means there's a buyer out there that hasn't fulfilled an order that needs to get it done, and it's a good sign for some strength. And MVIS was showing this. Uh, but today, typical trades. Uh, Mobile Eye, best trade of the day. Um, sorry, really, Baba was one of the better ones, but just based on how I trade. Mobileye, bad news. They were doing a secondary, third area issuing stock. Normally that would hurt a stock. Guess what? There was a bidder there all morning. Stock turned around, went green. And we were buying it a little bit with a, a preemptive strike on Mobileye. And then we had, um, you know, typical trades. ACAD took a beat down, you know, past couple of days. Suddenly in the middle of the day, reverse got strong, bought that stock. Same thing with, uh, um, I'll get to the Ameren trade afterwards, but... You had a JNUG, uh, your Mobileye, your RIG, RIG, and US Steel. If you look at all the charts of the stocks I just mentioned, take a look at ACAD. If I had graphics, it'd pop up there. ACAD, MBLY, uh, US Steel, RIG, and you're going to see low prints, turns, breaking of the VWAP, going green, and having a little parabolic move. Uh, and again, uh, my style of trading... I like to take some profit on that first move, try to milk the trade after that, and then becomes a riskless trade. What I mean is that you put a stop on it, whereas if you're getting stopped out, it doesn't even matter because those are the last couple of trades that you have on. So, you know, like U.S. Steel buying it at 2160, once it got over 75, 2180, 2085, it was selling it along the way, and then you put a stop on the rest, you know, if you get stopped out of 2185 and the rest, it doesn't even matter at that point because it's still, you know, a profitable trade. And it actually round, wound up rallying into the close. So those last 200 shares, you know, made an extra, you know, 10 cents. Where I know we're only talking about 20 bucks, but this is, again, this is a learning process. And uh, once you feel confident in what you're doing, you can take that up to 10,000 shares. That's going to bring me to the Ameren trade. Now, again, miracles do happen. Ameren rallying from 78 cents to $3.33 today. You know, I'm sitting there waiting to short this thing. I'm just waiting for it to pop, uh, the bubble to pop, whether it's being a bubble, whether the company's changed. I don't know. I never knew what their drug did in the first place. I don't care. As soon as that stock went under $3.08, that to me was a VWAP trade. Got short at three oh eight. Didn't want to do anything. Sat with it for a long, long day. Very, very long. Suffering. Just watching it go back six or seven cents. And finally did break down. But more importantly, at 301, we added to it. And then at 298, we added to it again. And we were just looking for that, you know, 11 or 12 cent pullback. And we got it. You know, we covered it between 285 and 288. And it was a, you know, pretty awesome trade. We had a monster trade on it, you know, 10,000, 15,000 at one point. Uh, you know, again, if you're only looking to make six or seven cents, you're not going to short 100 shares or something. 
You know, I talk about risk management, money management. Now, again, it could have went the other way. If this thing would have broke back over 308, it would have been a loss. Now, again, I will not trade Ameren again unless it gaps up tomorrow and rolls over and does the same kind of thing. To me, all these stocks are the same thing. They just I look for gaps to be filled, gaps to hold, reversals and pivot points and reversals uh, and sorry, and VWAP. So that's, that's pretty much it. Just want to give it a little recap. And, uh, you know, like I said, if you are in the New York City, New Jersey, Connecticut, Pennsylvania area and you can make it to my house, there's nothing better than sitting here and just you know, letting me coach you from, you know, two feet away other than making a video after the fact, before the fact, trying to sit in the chat room. Because uh, the chat room's a little bit difficult, too. I, I got to admit, if you're not there when these trades are being called out, or even if you just, you know, went to the bathroom or went to get a drink of water and you missed the exit or the entry, sometimes by the time you read what's going on in the chat room or hear it, um, by the time I'm saying I'm looking like this FEYE, oh, that was the other trade, FEYE, another reversal we had on, on today. By the time you're in it, sometimes I'm selling out of it. You know, I'll, I'll take 12 cents on any stock, you know. Uh, but FEYE was a really nice one. That one we bought on the, uh, called the Kissback VWAP trade. Kissback, didn't break it, and we got back long and had a nice move back up to the highs of the day. Um, the only one that we messed up was um, Alibaba. Gave up on it way way too soon and you know the mobile eye we didn't really milk that trade tesla. till the end of the day oh yeah of course we sold tesla and then went up five points after we got out so <laughs> thanks for reminding me of that one uh, all right guys uh i'll see you guys i'll see you guys tomorrow again if any you guys want to contact me you know where to find me see you